Today I'll be reviewing the Delphix Dynamic Data Platform. I'll be telling you how Delphix provisions data fast. And what I mean by provision data fast is that provisioning data for large organizations that process terabytes of data, they generally have a process for moving data out of production and into lower environments for dev test. And without using a virtualization engine like Delphix, the data provisioning process can be extremely slow. And I'll talk to you a little bit about how Delphix speeds that process up. I'll also talk about the Delphix masking feature and how it masks data securely. And I'll tell you what it means by masking data securely throughout an organization. And also the Delphix replication feature. As you can see, Delphix replicates efficiency. There's a lot of initiatives around the globe of taking data out of one data center and moving it up to the cloud. When you're talking about terabytes of data, petabytes of data, this process is extremely uh, lengthy, and Delphix can also efficiently change that process for your customers. Let me first talk about the Delphix Dynamic Data Platform and the Data Virtualizer. So what you're seeing on your screen is kind of in a nutshell what Delphix Virtualizer does. Delphix is a virtual appliance. It's on-premise on your VMware or in the cloud, Azure or AWS, and it sits as a machine image. Storage is attached to the Delphix engine. The Delphix engine then will connect to those source systems, those databases, those very large databases, SQL Server, Sybase, even Mongo databases, or file systems. Delphix can actually virtualize unstructured file systems. We're not limited to just databases. And then nightly, Delphix is going to synchronize with those systems so that you can get a continuous data flow and then at any point in time, when, those, when the time comes to refresh non-production environments, those lower environments, the data is in the Delphix engine, and then the Delphix can turn around and provision to those non uh, downstream environments. That's what we're talking about in virtualization. So let's take a look at the process as a whole, right? the data ops process. Again, what you're seeing is the Delphix dynamic data platform appliance sitting in the center. It's connecting to the production source databases, in this case a terabyte. And it's going to use um, the native backup technologies. If it's an Oracle, it's going to take an RMAN backup initially of that um, production database. It'll take, it could take a Lightspeed database, a SQL, um, native SQL backup, whichever it might be. It's going to ingest into the Delphix engine. First, it's going to compress and deduplicate. Then it's going to provision those down, uh, the data to those downstream systems. And it'll provision the data files themselves through iSCSI or an FS mount, depending on if it's a Windows or a Linux server. And it instantly provision, and what I mean by that is that since we're not actually copying two or three terabytes of data from one server to another, it already resides in the Delphix engine. And Delphix engine is using, like I said, those iSCSI protocols or the NFS protocols to just present that storage to those databases that are running on the dev test and stage. Once inside the Delphix virtualization appliance, we can actually provide self-service to the developers, the testers, those data consumers who can do work much more efficiently if they had the ability for data as a service where they can rewind or refresh without necessarily getting DBAs involved who may be busy with other things uh, in operations. Delphix has two different deployment scenarios. One of them, you know, some companies have the Delphix engine in their entire data center in one data center on-prem. Right, so Delphix, there it is, connecting to the source. Delphix is going to manage those virtual data sets and then provision to those downstream users. And what you're seeing on the screen are what we call data pods. We can actually logically relate many different data sources. A lot of organizations will have multiple databases serving different parts of the line of business or even different parts of the work task itself such as a transaction database and maybe a customer call center database along with the financial database. We can group those together so that when a developer or a QA analyst needs to get a copy of the production to refresh, they can actually, with one API call, refresh all those instances to the same point in time. That's deployment scenario one. Deployment scenario two is you have the production source, Delphix ingests onto the on-prem, then we replicate. I talked about the replication 
efficiency earlier in the call. You can replicate to a Delphix engine that's in the cloud or a secondary data center. And then in that case, the developer and the QA analyst can instantly provision uh, their databases where they need them. The other feature we have within Delphix is the masking solution. We have a very robust masking solution. We can profile data, so we can take the masking engine, make a connection into the production schemas, or even a flat file, a CSV file, a XML file, a vSAM file, whatever the source may be, we're going to make a connection to that source. We're going to be able to profile that source. We're going to be able to use metadata to identify the sensitive columns, whatever those sensitive columns may be, birth date, addresses, uh, maybe credit card information. We're going to assign a, a predetermined masking algorithm that is completely configurable. But we're going to have, such as a date shift, we'll have things like a segmented mapping where you can kind of mask, mask um, just the last seven digits of a 10-digit phone number, for instance. Once the profiler is complete, you'll get a complete uh, report that shows tables, the columns that they found the information in the possible algorithm to assign. In that case, you can mask without any further programming, or you can actually customize to make this fictitious data very usable. And what I mean by um, realistic or usable data is oftentimes you'll see that although you can simply mask an address to um, meet the needs of securing sensitive information, but your organization may only be interested in masking its customer addresses. Maybe the vendors or maybe a network of physicians, you're not necessarily interested in masking those addresses. So you can customize your data, uh, your profiler to just mask where address type is customer or address type is patient. So you can be very specific. It's a very configurable solution. And at the end, you're going to be masking consistently and repeatably across all different types of platforms. You're going to have from one interface that can connect to Oracle or SQL Server or DB2 mainframe or even uh, an XML file, right? All of those, every time you mask, a, say, a member ID, it's going to be masked with the same output result in every case it masks that. So within databases where you have referential integrity, you have a parent table and you have some child reference tables, they will mask the same to include that data integrity throughout its system. And then, of course, we can always submit reports whenever you're working with a secure solution. Um, the auditors are want to know when, where, and how things were masked, and we can provide those outputs for those auditors as needed. And then finally, just a little bit about the replication piece. So the Delphix engine can replicate the entire engine from one place to another, or it's select options like select data sets, maybe just a certain group of um, databases you want replicated, or maybe you only want mass systems replicated, not the entire data, data sets that include mask and unmasked data. You can also mask uh, from multi like Amazon to Azure as shown here. That'll avoid that vendor lock-in. And Delphix is going to operate the same in every case. So whether you're working in Azure, Amazon, on-prem, the Delphix engine installs identically. Uh, other than you know picking the particular hypervisor you're installing on, and it'll provision identically. Delphix Engine is full web service API enabled, so everything you see in demos or anything you work with on the Delphix Engine can also be converted. In, it can be used with API calls or command line interface calls. Thank you.